hi welcome to this tutorial series on spring mbc in this video i'm going to explain about the flow of this project that i have created in my last video so if you have not seen that video i will provide the link for that video in the description of this video so actually i'm using spring tool suite for the creation of spring mbc application which is very easy to create and very easy to implement so this is the project that i have created in my last video so uh, i have you can directly click on new uh, file new and spring legacy project to create spring mbc application using sts and here you need to give the project name and need to select the spring mbc project and this i this sts will create the project automatically and so that's what this project is created in last video so let's go through this project uh, so before that let's see the diagram of spring mbc application so this is the basic flow of the spring mbc application this i have explained in my first introduction of spring mbc so let's recap this so in spring mbc the first entry point is dispatcher servlet and then we have handler mapping and controller so handler mapping have the all the controller registered so uh, it after handler mapping the flow will goes to the controller so controller will from the controller it will route to particular view resolver and then view resolver will call particular view so this is the general flow of the spring mbc application so let's check this uh, this flow in this project that is by default created for us so if we see when we run this project in any web application web any web server like tomcat the first entry point will be web.xml file so from here so tomcat server will start the application and it create a wav file so it, it actually deploy the wav file and then it first load the web this web.inf file and in this file we have this dispatcher servlet that that is the servlet that is I have explained here that the first entry point of the spring mbc application so it is declared here if you see this is the servlet which is declared so this servlet is actually provided by spring framework and this is the first entry point from here all the url will be routed so if you see the url pattern is power slash so it means any URL for this application will be routed to this dispatcher servlet so it means this servlet have all the all the functionalities of the spring uh, so that we can use all the different components of the spring mbc application so so after that if you see we have this sublet context.xml file which is a init parameter so it load this xml file so this is the xml file in this path so it load this xml file and then in this xml file we have some configurations like we are using this configuration so this is the configuration to actually provide the path particular path for the gsp file so if you see this is the path where we are actually creating the gsp files so this is our view and this is our controller here this is our controller and this is the sublet dot uh, contacts dot xml file which we have the configuration so if you see we have a component scan here so this tag is very important so it means it actually search for all the controllers in this package so we generally use component scan we when we have annotation based approach it means we are creating 
application using annotation based so we have to provide the package where we have all the controllers so the flow it will route the flow to this package and this package we have this home controller file so if you see this is the controller with the controller annotation and we have request mapping here and this request mapping have default path forward slash so it means any uh, it that this is the default controller which, which is getting called so and here we are returning home it means we are calling this gsp page so whatever string we are we return from this controller that is a view resolver so it will route the request to particular gsp so our gsp page name should be same the string that we are providing so it call the gsp home.gsp file so this is the general flow of this spring mbc application that is by default created for us by spring tool suite so it also provided us the pom.xml file which with all the dependencies so if you see our pom.xml file here we have yeah we have spring mbc maven dependency and we have all other required dependency for spring mbc these are the basic dependencies which are required for spring mbc application so we don't need to configure anything anything uh, so so if we see our diagram again so so first the tomcat server which is a servlet container it will load the mm, it will load the web.xml file and then it will search for the dispatcher servlet and then in the dispatcher servlet we have entry for servlet context.xml file so we can give any name for this file servlet context.xml file and then in this file we have all different configurations for of the spring so we can create as many as configuration by the with using the bean tag so we can create the dat database configuration here and all any, any of the configuration we can create here for spring so after that we have a component scan so it scan for the package where we have all the controllers and then after that it check for the controller mapping by with by the handler mapper and then it return control to the view resolver so this is the default flow of the, this application so to understand it better let's create one simple controller here and then we will run this application and then we we will and we can test it out okay so let's create a controller okay so let's open the home controller let's create a small controller here so let's create a controller and a JSP page for better understanding so let's provide a test controller as a name and this should be test welcome test so we can change the message here and so let's create a JSP page so we are returning test here so we'll create a JSP page like test.jsp because our string that we are returning is test so the file it will search for test.jsp file okay let's create it yep test.jsp from test controller we can say okay 
yep so we are done so let's test it out on tomcat server so we can right click on it right click run as run on server okay let's click finish okay so it is getting started web application context is loaded okay okay so application is loaded successfully so as you see we have I have given test as a name of our controller which if you see yeah so we have created a URL with test so which I have given here and this test what it is doing is it is actually helps just a message to the view resolver uh, so it will send a message to view and then it return test which is our test.jsv so after it return to the view it check for the test and then it populate the test.jsv file so that's what it is doing so our first com controller is successfully uh, loaded and it is working so this is just a small example uh, for the creation of the controller and this application is working and so in my next video I'm going to create a, a small e-commerce application with the form so there I will explain all different features of Spring MBC I will start with the model attribute and because Spring MBC is very good type coupled with the MBC application and uh, we are using model uh, attribute we will we can easily map the component and map any any of the fields from the UI to the POJO classes so which will I will create in my next video and then uh, we'll see you next video that's all for this video thanks for watching bye bye